So um, this is a, I would say this is the most important slide. If you can understand this slide and, and, you know, and remember this in your brain, if you can recollect this slide, then, then, the, then you would, then you would know, uh, I mean, what to do and we have a good understanding of hyponatremia. So most common is um, hypotonic hyponatremia, okay? Hypotonic hyponatremia is the most common. And then that is again divided into hypovolemic, euvolemic and hypervolemic, right? Volume status is important. How do you know? By physical exam, history and physical exam, right? Suppose a patient has diarrhea and, you know, um, he has dry mouth, dry tongue, skin turgor is low and the blood pressure is on the lower side, then obviously he is hypovolemic. On the other hand, we have a patient with anasarca or a patient who has puffiness of the face or pedal edema or ascites, has elevated JVP. All this would indicate hypervolemia, right? This is obvious on the clinical exam. And then there's a big subset of patients who have uh, normal volume status. They neither have, sorry, they neither have hypo or hypervolemia, right? And that just comes in the middle, right? So, um, so there'll be a lot of repetition. Please bear with me. We'll deal with more, more we'll deal more in detail each of these uh, conditions. So when you have dehydration or diarrhea, what happens? Urine sodium goes down. Why? Because the kidneys want to absorb extra sodium from the urine. Along with the sodium, water also gets absorbed, right? So this is to maintain the blood pressure because it has to maintain the, uh, you know, the blood pressure and it has to reabsorb the sodium and water. So less sodium gets into the urine, right? More is absorbed here less sodium gets into the urine. So that's why the urine sodium is less, less than 10. On the other hand, you have renal losses due to diuretics and other conditions where the urine sodium is high. So within hypovolemic conditions, you have so urine sodium less than 10 and more than, 20, more, than, more than 10 or 20, right? Then you've got hypervolemic, like congestive heart failure, cirrhosis of liver and nephrotic syndrome and chronic kidney disease. Um, here, there is retention of both sodium and water due to renin and angiotensin system and, you know, and also ADH is secreted. You know, although there is a lot of volume, there's a lot of fluid in the body, it is in the interstitium. It's not in the vascular compartment. So although they are fluid overloaded, intravascularly, the volume is less, you know. So, so that stimulates renin and angiotensin and that stimulates the ADH. And the more ADH that is secreted, more water is reabsorbed, right? So, um, Whereas then you have the middle one, euolemic hyponatremia, right? Here we have the most, uh, I mean, you have to rule out the, all the other conditions and then you're left with SIDH. SIDH is syndrome, uh, in, syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion, right? There is excess of ADH, antidiuretic hormone secretion, right? ADH has a big role to play in, this, in, in hyponatremia. So ADH, as you know, is antidiuretic hormone. And what does it do? It, it's, it is, it is uh, produced from the hypothalamus. And what does it do? It reabsorbs water from the collecting tubule in the kidneys, right? So when there is excess of, excess of ADH hormone, there is excess of water absorption leading to excess of water in the body, leading to hyponatremia, right? And uh, most of the times it's reactive. So when the volume goes down, ADH is secreted, right? When, for example, in hypovolemia, less volume is there, so ADH is secreted because there are receptors everywhere which are sensing the tonicity and the, you know, and the volume status. So both in hypo and hypervolemic, ADH is secreted because of the underlying conditions. Whereas in SIDH, what happens? It is autonomous secretion. For example, there's a small cell lung cancer so the tumor cells, they secrete ADH and it is not dependent on anything. It's an autonomic secretion, right? Similarly, there are some drugs and other conditions we'll, we'll cover soon, right? So under uvolemic, you have these conditions. Post-operative, because pain is a potent stimulus for ADH secretion. You have to rule out hypothyroidism and adrenal insufficiency in every patient with uvolemic hyponatremia. Psychogenic polydipsia. Normally, you may 
a human being normally drinks 1.5 to 2 liters of water, but here you be, the patient will be drinking 8 to 10 liters, right? And that causes a dilutional hyponatremia. Then how do you differentiate from the others? Here in psychogenic polydipsia, urine will be very dilute, right? So urine osmolality will be very low. And beer photomania is where they just keep drinking beer and nothing else. That is as good as drinking water, right? With all the other adverse effects. Thiazide diuretics, hydrochlorothiazide. If you ask me one single common reason, the commonest reason for hyponatremia, I would say, on people, especially people on medications, I would say this hydrochlorothiazide due to hypertension, for which they're taking, I mean, all of, I mean hypertensive patients who take hydrochlorothiazide, they take Telma H or, you know, Almizest H, and all that contains hydrochlorothiazide combined with other medications like telmisartan or olmisartan, right? Right, so you have to exclude thyroid problems, hypothyroidism and adrenal insufficiency as well. Then you may say that I didn't cover these two. A brief mention about these two. So all these are hypotonic hyponatremia, right? Uh, osmolality is low. So most of the patients with hyponatremia will have hypotonic hyponatremia. Vast majority will have hypotonic hyponatremia. Then how about this isotonic hyponatremia? This is more like a lab error, I would say, or a lab artifact, right? So there's too many solid elements in the blood. For example, too much of protein or too much of chylomicrons. So the amount of sodium would be less. So amount of plasma would be less for calculation. So the modern machines, the modern assays have taken a uh, have kind of got around this problem. So with the modern machines and modern technology, this should not be a problem. Even if you see it and in these conditions with the older machines, then it is probably a lab artifact. And then you've got hypertonic hyponatremia where, where osmolality is very high. So here you see in hyperglycemia, very high blood sugars and also mannitol, you know, they, they have high osmolality, isn't it? Hyper, I mean, high sugar and mannitol could cause high osmolality. And because of that, Water is pulled from inside the cells. So water comes out from the intracellular to the extracellular compartment, right? So there is a dilutional. So that, that contains, I mean, once the water is more in a, an extracellular, that's what you're measuring, isn't it? So that is hypertonic hyponatremia. And um, so you have to do a correction factor. Suppose so blood sugar is 700. So you apply a correction factor. That is 1.6 milliequivalents of sodium for every 100 milligrams of glucose increase, okay? So why is hypotonic hyponatremia so common? See, what is the formula for osmolality? Two into sodium, isn't it? So once the sodium goes down, the osmolality also goes down, isn't it? So that's why hypotonic hyponatremia is the most common cause. This is pretty much the same slide. Um, just for you to just look at this, here, just look at these three rectangles. Um, in hypovolemic hyponatremia, the water is less. Total body sodium is also less, but you know, relatively more water loss. I mean, more sodium loss than water loss. In euvolemia, sodium is normal, but there is more water accumulation. Why? Because there is more ACTH, sorry, ADH secretion more of ADH secretion causes an increase of total body water, but the normal, but the overall body sodium remains normal. And here, hypervolemia, whereas CHF and nephrotic syndrome and everything. Here, there is accumulation of both sodium and water due to renin angiotensin and ADH mechanisms, but there is excess of water compared to sodium. So that's why, because of relative excess of water, you see hypo, Natremia. And the treatment also would probably reflect this, isn't it? So if there is a hypovolemic hyponatremia, you're going to correct it with isotonic saline. If there is a, just a water excess due to excess ADH secretion, what would you do? You would restrict water, right? You would restrict water to say one liter per day, right? And there is both excess of both, then you would restrict both, right? By giving diuretics and other measures, right? So that is, see, that's why, that's why I said the treatment of hyponatremia depends on the cause, right? Well, this is again the same slide in a different format. 
right so um you hypovolemia euvolemia hypervolemia this should be hypervolemia so uh, extra renal loss due to gastroenteritis this is renal loss due to diuretics or kidney problem and then urine osmolality that we haven't discussed so far so urine one is you check urine sodium other other measure is urine osmolality right so what happens in psychogenic polydipsia or someone is is drinking beer all day or drinking 10 liters of water every day due to some psychiatric conditions or you know um hot tea and toast diet some people in the west who just survive on tea and toast and there no not enough solute in the in the diet so in these conditions the urine is very dilute okay we are drinking 10 liters maybe are putting out 9 liters so another 1 liter is still floating around in the you know causing hyponatremia so dilute urine causing hyponatremia whereas in other conditions like a sadh urine osmolality is high okay so that's why these are the two tests you would do in a patient to figure out the cause of hyponatremia urine sodium and urine spot sodium and urine osmolality again i know there's a lot of repetition so i'm i'm not go through this again because i already just told you about these things these are all the drugs which can cause sidh right um it anti epileptics and right and then we got this uh, and i mean uh, antidepressants then uh, some chemotherapy drugs right <laughs>